Hello guys and welcome back to a brand new video at Lazy Local Collectibles. And today on the uh, turntable we have this matchbox to restore. So I hope you are going to enjoy the video and uh, we'll go to the bench and start the restoration. So let's, let's take a closer look of this um, model. So uh, this is going to be today's restoration. And this is a matchbox series number 35. And that's an Opel Diplomat, uh, made in England 1970, and it's a super fast version. Um, opening hood, uh, pretty dirty inside, but apart from that, it's pretty nice actually. Um, the only reason I'm taking this apart is because uh, it's dirty inside. So, we'll, we'll do this one today. I think I will do the refurbishment on the wheels as well. It's got a little bit surface rust here. But apart from that, it's pretty good. I've got the tow hook as well. So pretty nice. Um, so I will fill this up as well. Um, just to have enough petrol to go home. And uh, I will start the restoration. So let's see what's inside in this one. As you can see, it's pretty dirty. That's why I wanted to take it apart because um, this one looked dirty by the window so I would like to clean this up nicely and make it a nice fresh new car so that's one pair of wheels and this is the other one I think this has some spent some time outside in the mud somewhere uh, like I've done before, I used to play in a uh, playground in the sand. So this is the interior with the hook on, which will come off in a minute. Just gently, that's it. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Full of sand. And yeah, the engine bay comes out and that's really dirty as well so I think I'm gonna clean this and respray it and uh, the hood will stay on this one and I have to drill out the windscreen Okay, and let's see if this one comes out easy. We'll see, maybe not. Uh, maybe there's a little bit more in there. I think it's should come now, should just slide out really, but because it's really dirty, I might just put it into some hot water first. So yeah, I come out very dirty, but it's all uh, in pieces and uh, everything is there, so it's just need a good clean and also um, a repaint and some refurbishment on the wheels so this will be pretty good I have to use paint stripper on this one because the caustic soda will eat the plastic so okie dokie and uh, I will start the restoration I'll come back soon guys the only detail I'll show in this video is how do I remove the paint from the plastic parts I'm using oven cleaner and I leave it for 10-15 minutes and I will take off all the old paint and you can prime and paint the plastic again. So um, this is also another uh, short video guys. I haven't shown any um, details because there was not much to do really. I cleaned up the windscreen, uh, just washed up the um, interior. This is a respray as well. Uh, the car has been resprayed. Uh, 
no detailings because I wanted to do it originally and this is the um, base plate with the tires on so pretty straightforward so I'm going to put the um, car together so I will start with the windscreen which is coming in first to the front and that should just go in there and the back seats so that's all done um, I think the next bit is the um, engine and then the um, interior with the hook easy busy and the last bit is the base plate which slides in on the front and it should just click in at the back so I will put this on the roundabout and uh, I'll show you how the car looks like so this is the car before restoration not too bad actually the condition is I would say okay but I wanted to take it apart because there's a lot of mud and dirt inside the cabin so I was thinking let's do the car then and ta -da, this is the car after restoration as you can see I give a new paint job this is antique gold and I refurbished the tires, the wheels, I washed the interior and I worked on the windscreen as well. I wet sanded it and then put it into floor polish. So the car looks to me brand new. I hope you uh, agree with me. So this will be in my cabinet as well as a, a refurbished matchbox. Down to the petrol station again. So I'm going to fill up the car. Um, and I will go home. It's really nice to drive a restored car around So I'll see you in a minute. So I hope you guys enjoyed this restoration um, If yes, please give me a thumbs up also subscribed if you haven't subscribed yet. It's still free and Also comment down below, please. What do you think of this restoration or my other videos? Um, I should come up with a new video in a week time. So don't forget to um, come back next Friday um, till then, cheerio, bye-bye, take care.